Hundreds of people rallied tonight in support of the Strongsville Police Department. They claim a local group is attacking the department by demanding police take down a thin blue line flag that hangs in the lobby. Some have criticized that flag as becoming a symbol of racism and a growing political divide. But those who gathered tonight tell News 5's Jesse Schultz the message is much simpler than that. Hundreds made their way to Strongsville City Headquarters Tuesday night. Are we going to let them destroy our country? No! Their message loud and clear. We want to be there for our police. The large rally all happening to make sure this small symbol stays put. The thin blue line flag made of wood that hangs in the police lobby. The thin blue line flag here in Strongsville PD is exactly a memorial for those that have lost their life defending our freedom and defending in our law and order. And <clears throat> fake claims of racism aren't going to have that taken down. Shannon Burns of Strongsville's GOP party says the rally is in response to the last city council meeting. At the last council meeting, a group by the name of Indivisible Strongsville, Indivisible Strongsville, came to our council meeting and tried to present fake charges of racism against our police. Indivisible Strongsville is affiliated with a national progressive political group known as Swing Left. At the last council meeting, Indivisible member Russ Smith told council members the flag should go. The flag had been flown by some residents in apparent rebuttal to the principles of Black Lives Matter movement, symbolizing the divisiveness that grips not only Strongsville, but the nation. We feel that the city of Strongsville should not be party to such polarizing political issues. But rally goers say the flag simply supports police sacrifice and does not go against any other movement. There's no reason why we should be leveling baseless claims of racism against our police when it just aren't true. Reporting in Strongsville, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Members of Indivisible Strongsville couldn't be reached for tonight's story. We reached out to the Strongsville PD for comment as well regarding the thin blue line flag we have yet to hear back.